Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today we're going to see the second game of three in Cincinnati between the Reds and Cubs. The Reds, in a manner that has just become all too consistent this year, mounted another dramatic come, behind vic come from behind victory against the Cubs in game one, winning the game four to three, walking it off in the bottom of the ninth inning. So let's see if we get a little different outcome in today's game. The Cubs are going to send Alec Mills out to the mound. He is making appearance number 14 on the season, 2-0 with a 3-3-3 ERA and a 0-86 whip. The Cubs lineup today will be Hayward leading off, followed by Santana, Bryant, Ozuna, Shaw, Contreras, Kipnis at second, Baez at short, and Mills doing the pitching. The Reds will send Michael Kopech out to the mound. He is making his second appearance of the year. 540 ERA, 180 whip. The Reds lineup will be Votto, Winker, Castellano, Suarez, Mustakas, Akiyama, Galvis, Casali, and the pitcher Kopech. It is partly cloudy, 75 degrees. Wind is blowing out to right at 9 MPH. And let's get this game underway. No love lost between these two teams this year. Cubs coming in, trailing the Reds in the chase for the NL Central. The Reds leading the division at 41 and 38. Cubs coming in in third place, three games out at 38 and 41. Cincinnati has taken seven out of nine from the Cubs this year. That is just brutal. So, Kopech on the mound, facing Hayward. Here comes the pitch, and Hayward is hit. Wow. As if there was any doubt about it, Hayward is hit by the second pitch of the game, and he heads down to first base. Been hit by pitches seven times this season. Santana now batting. Runner on first, nobody out. 2-2 two -two count, and Santana grounds right out in front of the mound. The throw goes to second to retire Hayward. But there is no relay to first, so Santana's safe at first on the fielder's choice, and Chris Bryant is the batter. With one out, one man on, Bryant hits that one weakly to third. The throw goes to first, and on the fielder's choice, Santana advances to second. So now there's two outs, runner in scoring position, and Marcelo Zuna is the batter. Comes up with a one ball count. Oh, and that one gets away. Santana heads down to third as Ozuna watches ball two go by and now the go-ahead run is 90 feet away Ozuna waiting for the payoff pitch and he takes the walk that pitch was up and away from Kopech so now the Cubs have runners on the corners two out and Travis Shaw is the batter Shaw waiting for the 3-1 pitch and he draws another walk so two consecutive walks now with two out and the bases are loaded with Contreras coming up. Contreras with an 0-2 count, 2-0 count, I'm sorry, waiting for the pitch. And he wraps a base hit into left field. That's gonna drive in a run. Second runner stops at third. So credit Wilson Contreras with an RBI single. He has 27 on the season and the Cubs now lead this game one to nothing in the top of the first inning. Kipnis now batting. He's standing in for Hap at second base today. He comes up with the bases loaded, trying to extend this 1-0 lead. First pitch to Kipnis. That's a liner into center field. That's going to be another base hit. One run is in. Second run comes home. The throw comes home, and the runner is tagged out at home. So Akiyama throws out Shaw. However, the Cubs do score another run, and they now lead 2-0 going into the bottom of the first. Votto the batter, he's going to lead off against Mills. Three and one count from Mills, here's the pitch. There's a grounder to third, Bryant has it, throws to first for out number one. Winker now the batter, standing in against Mills with a 2-2 two -two count and one out. And Winker hits that one a mile to straightaway center field. That one he got all of it. I think he might have put that one out in the river. 
one of the longest home runs ever hit at Great America Ballpark. Do we have a length on that? No, they're not telling me the distance on that home run. I wonder if the game log is going to show me 450 feet to center field. That is a bomb. So Castellanos now batting. The game is 2-1 to one in favor of the Cubs. 0-2 count from Mills. Popped up in foul territory. Bryant chasing. And he makes the catch in front of the third base dugout for out number two. Suarez now batting with two outs. Nobody on. One ball count to Suarez. Mills with the pitch. And that is popped up to left. Ozuna heading toward left center is going to make the catch for out number three. Well, the Reds cut the lead in half. It is two to one Cubs going into the top of the second. Mills batting against Kopech here in the top of the second inning. 2-2 two -two count to Mills. And he swings and misses for strike three. That is strikeout number one for Michael Kopech today. 0-2 count, Baez the batter, and that's going to be a liner right at the second baseman. Mustaka squeezes it for out number two. Baez actually hit that one right on the button, but it was at Mustakas, and he made the play easily. Hayward now the batter, two outs, nobody on, three and one count to Hayward. And that's going to be a base hit into center field. He just got the end of the bat on that one and launched it out into center for a single. So Santana now with Hayward on first, two outs, full count pitch. That is inside, it is ball four. Hay Hayward heads to second, Santana heads down to first, and Kovech continues to struggle with his command. He already has issued three walks in today's game. Chris Bryant now batting with two outs, two men on. 1-0 count to Bryant, here's the pitch. Bryant pops it up to center, I don't think that's going to drop. It's going to be playable, and Akiyama is going to pull it in for out number three. Well, the Cubs get two base runners, but they do not score. We are going to the bottom of the second inning of a 2-1 to one Cub lead. Mills will face Moustakas to lead off the Reds' half of the second. Three and one count from Mills. Popped up to left. Ozuna's heading back on the warning track. He makes the play for out number one. Akiyama now batting against Mills. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Mills gets him with the fastball. And that is strikeout number one for Alec Mills. Freddie Galvis now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Two and one count to Galvis. Here it comes. Liner right at Baez. That soft liner is going to be put away for out number three. So... The Reds are retired in order in the second. We go to the top of the third, two to one Cubs. Ozuna leading off for the Cubs, <clears throat> excuse me, in the top of the third. 0-2 pitch from Kopech. So wing and a miss, strike three. Ozuna heads back to the dugout. Strikeout number two on the day for Kopech. And now Travis Shaw the batter, one out, nobody on. One and two count to Shaw. And Shaw watches strike three go by on the inside corner. That is out number two. Contreras now batting two outs, nobody on. One ball count to Contreras with the pitch. Grounder up the middle, second baseman. On the shift was playing behind second and makes the play. He throws to first and retires the side. Cubs go down in order in the third. We go to the bottom of the third inning of a two to one Chicago lead. Kurt Casale leading off for the Reds in the bottom of the third. Two and one count. And Casale oh, hits that one over Brian's head down the left field line. He rounds first. He is heading for extra bases. Sliding into second. He is safe with a leadoff double in the bottom of the third inning. Mills now pitching to Kopech with nobody out. Runner on second. Likely sacrifice scenario right here for Kopech. First pitch, and he lays down the bunt. However, Shaw reacts quickly, and he picks it off in midair for the out. Casale is unable to advance, and now Votto is the batter with one out, one man on. 0-2 count to Votto. Mills working. 
Swing and a miss, strike three on a big curveball. Man, he looked really bad on that one. So Winker now the batter with two outs, one man on. Cubs trying to hang on to this two to one lead. And we have a two and one count to Winker. That's gonna be lined over Kipnis's head just out of his reach. The throw comes home, but the runner is safe. Casali scores the tying run on the Winker RBI single, and that is going to make this game two all in the bottom of the third inning. Castellanos now batting with two outs, runner on first. 1-1 one, one count, Mills working. Grounder to third, Bryant has it, throws to first, and that is out number three. Well, the Reds get a two out RBI single, and they tie this game at two. So Kipnis now batting, leading off against Kopech in the Cubs half of the fourth. 2-2 two -two count to Kipnis. Here's the pitch. And that is swing and a miss for strike three. Kopech gets him swinging on the curve as Kipnis heads back to the dugout. Mills now batting with one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count to Mills. And he knocks a base hit right up the middle into center field. Mills with the one out single. And that will bring up Baez with one out and one man on. First pitch to Baez. Grounder up the middle. This one is going to be playable. The throw goes to second. But Mills manages to break up the double play. And Baez is safe at first on the fielder's choice. Hayward now the batter with two outs, runner on first. One ball count to Hayward, and the pitch out, the runner is going, but Baez gets a huge jump, and he manages to steal his fifth base of the season. So, runner in scoring position, go ahead run in scoring position as a matter of fact, with Hayward batting, full count, two outs, and Hayward watches ball four go by outside. Nice eye by Jason Hayward as the Cubs now have first and second, and two outs, and Danny Santana's the batter. Kopech has issued four walks now on the day. One and two count to Santana, and he swings and misses for strike three. Couldn't catch up with that fastball at 95. So the Cubs strand two runners in the top of the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning of a 2-2 tie. Suarez the batter, he's facing Mills, leading off the Reds half of the fourth. Full count pitch from Mills, and that is ball four low and away. So Suarez heads down to first, and Mustakas is the batter. First pitch to Mustakas, and oh, that's a pickoff throw, and Mills caught Suarez leaning, and he picks him off first base. Heads up play there by Mills, and that is the first out of the inning. So now there's nobody on, one out, Mustakas batting with a full count. Here it comes. Mustakas slaps that one into right field. It's going to get down for a base hit. So one out single for Mustakas. And Akiyama is batting now. One and two count to Akiyama. And he watches strike three go by as Mills gets him at the knees on the outside corner. Strikeout number three on the day for Alec Mills. And now Freddy Galvis is the batter. Two outs, one man on. One ball count. Mills working. And that's going to be lined into the gap in right center field. That's going all the way to the wall. Galvis heads for second. He is heading for third. He's going to have a triple as the runner scores from first. And the Reds are now ahead three to two. Man, these Reds just do not quit. So, Mustaka scores. Galvis gets the RBI triple, and Casale is the batter. Two outs, runner on third, full count pitch to Casale. And that's lined into left field. Ozuna get, lets it drop in front of him. Feel like he should have stepped up and tried to make that play. That's going to make the game 4-2 to two now, as Casale has an RBI single. And the Reds now have a two-run lead. Kopech batting with two outs, one man on, one and two count from Mills. And that's popped up to left. Hopefully Ozuna decides to come in and make this catch. And he does. That is out number three. So the Reds score twice. 
and they take the lead at 4-2 in the bottom of the fourth. Chris Bryant now batting against Kopech in the top of the fifth. One and two count to Bryant. Here is the pitch. Bryant swings and misses at strike three. That was a fastball at 96. Ozuna now batting. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch to Ozuna. And that's lined into left field. That's going to be playable. And it will be caught for out number two. Winker heads over and makes the grab. Shaw now batting. Two outs, nobody on. 0-2 count. And Shaw watches strike three go by. So the Cubs are retired in order. The Reds still lead 4-2 going into the bottom of the fifth. Mills coming out with 78 pitches to work inning number five against the Reds. He's going to face the top of the Reds lineup. Joey Votto leading off. One strike count to Votto. And Votto flies to center. Santana coming in. And he makes the catch for out number one. Winker now the batter with one out. 2-2 two, two count to Winker. And here's the pitch. And he is hit. Man, Winker gets hit by the pitch. Mills puts him on first. And Castellanos now the batter with one out and one man on. First pitch to Castellanos. And there's a line drive base hit into right field. Hayward cuts it off, but the run, the base runner is going to be safe at second. And so the Reds have first and second worn out, and Suarez is now the batter. Reds threatening here again in the bottom of the fifth inning. <clears throat> One and two count. And Mills strikes out Suarez with the slider. That is out number two on the inning. Strikeout number four on the day for Alec Mills. And now Moustakas is the batter with two outs, two men on. Mills trying to get out of this inning and preserve the two-run deficit. One and two count. Moustakas, off the end of the bat, pops it up to left. That is going to be playable. And Ozuna camps under it, makes the catch for out number three. Well, the Reds threaten, but they do not score. They strand two runners. We go to the top of the sixth inning, four to two Reds. Contreras leading off for the Cubs. It's going to be Contreras, Kipnis in the pitcher's spot here in the top of the sixth inning. 0-2 count to Contreras. Kopech working. Strike three, swing and a miss on the fastball. That was 100 miles an hour. After 98 pitches, Kopech has still got some gas to throw. Kipnis with one out, nobody on. Waiting for the full count pitch. Here it comes. And Kipnis pops it up to right. Playable and caught by Castellanos for out number two. And now Ian Happ is going to be sent up to pinch hit for the pitcher spot. The switch hitter Happ will step in against the left side versus the righty Kopech. Two outs, full count pitch to Happ. Here it comes. Happ pops it up to right again. Castellanos heading basically the exact same spot is going to make that catch for out number three. <clears throat> so we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It is 4-2 Reds. Akiyama will lead off. He is going to face Kirby Yates, who is the new Cub pitcher in the bottom of the sixth inning. Akiyama, Galvis, and Kasali will be the Reds batters here in the bottom of the sixth inning. One and two count. Yates working. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Yates gets his first strike out of the day. That was a fastball at 88 miles an hour. That seems a little bit on the slow side. Maybe that wasn't a fast fastball. So Galvis now batting with one out. Nobody on, 1-1 one, one count. Yates getting the sign and the pitch. Popped up to center. Santana coming in and he makes the catch for out number two. Casali now batting with two outs and nobody on. Full count payoff pitch. Strike three called. Yates gets that call on the corner for out number three. The Reds retired in order in the sixth. We go to the Cubs half of the seventh inning. It is four to two Cincinnati. The Reds are going to bring in the lefty Amir Garrett as a reliever here in the top of the seventh. He has thrown 21 and a third. 
17 walks, 25 strikeouts, and a 10-13 ERA. Basically gives up at least one run for every inning that he throws. So let's see if the Cubs can come back. They're going to send up Baez, Hayward, and Santana here in the top of the seventh inning. Baez with the one and two count, waiting for the pitch from Garrett. And here it comes. So wing and a miss, strike three. Baez does what he does best. Heads back to the dugout with the strikeout. And now Hayward is batting with one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count to Hayward. Here's the pitch. Hayward grounds to second. The throw goes to first. And Hayward is retired for out number two. Santana now batting. Switch hitting Santana will stand in from the right side against the lefty, Amir Garrett. One and two count, two outs. Garrett with the pitch. That is strike three called on the outside corner. And Garrett retires the side in order. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. It is still four to two Cincinnati. Yates is going to come out for his second inning of work. He's throwing 15 pitches so far. He'll face Van Meter, Votto, and Winker in the bottom of the seventh inning. Full count. Van Meter waiting for the pitch. And that is hit high to right field. I believe that is going to leave the ballpark as Hayward chases it to the wall and runs out of room. 395 feet to right field, and that is going to put the Reds up 5-2. to two. And now Yates is going to work to Votto with nobody out, nobody on. Reds up by three, and Yates allows Votto to crush that one into the gap in left center field. That is going to be an extra base hit as Votto stands into second with a double. So, Yates, after a very effective sixth inning, is getting hit hard here in the seventh. And Britton will be the new batter, the new pitcher for the Cubs. Britton will be brought in to face Winker, who is two for two today with a home run and two RBIs. Runner is on second, nobody out. 1-1 one, one count from Britton. He looks for the sign, and here's the pitch. And he hits Winker. Man, I don't know how close we are to having a bases, uh, benches clearing brawl, but there's been three batters hit in this game. So Castellanos is now batting with first and second, nobody out, and Britton trying to work his way out of a jam. Full count pitch to Castellanos. Britton. And he walks him. That is ball four. And the bases are now full of reds. So, Suarez the batter, with nobody out, bases loaded, Britton trying to record an out somehow, 2-2 two, two count, and there's a swing and a miss, strike three on the sinker. So, Britton gets the first out of the seventh inning. Moustakas now comes up, bases are still loaded, and one out. 1-1 one, one pitch to Moustakas, here it comes. That's going to be a liner into right field past the second baseman. One run is going to score. The throw comes home. The second runner is going to be tagged out as Hayward throws a laser beam home to retire, Musta or retire Winker at home. Moustakas does get credit with an RBI on the run scoring single. Cincinnati now leads 6-2. to two. Akiyama comes up with two outs. First and second, Reds have scored twice in this inning already. One and two count. And that is strike three called on the check swing. So, Britton gets two strikeouts, but two runs score. We go to the top of the eighth. It is six to two Cincinnati. Bryant batting against former Cub Ian Kennedy in the top of the eighth inning. Kennedy throwing 28 innings so far this year, eight walks to 33, 31 strikeouts, and a 7.71 ERA. 0-2 count, Kennedy working to Bryant. And here comes the pitch. And Bryant swings and misses for a strike three. Kennedy retires Bryant, now faces Ozuna with one out, nobody on. 2-2 count, here it comes. Popped up to left, Van Meter chasing, and he pulls it in, or Winker chasing, I'm sorry, pulls it in for out number two. Van Meter 
is not in this game at the moment at all. So Shaw is batting now with two outs, nobody on, full count pitch. Shaw, Shaw is hit. Man, this game is getting out of control. The umpires come out and they warn both dugouts and the pitcher to stop hitting people. Shaw heads down to first. Contreras coming up with two outs, one man on. And the Reds leading six to two. One and two count to Contreras. And he lines that one into center field, but is going to be playable. And Akiyama puts it away for out number three. That was well hit off the back of bat of Contreras, but basically right at the center fielder. So the Cubs strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It is six to two Cincinnati. Britton coming out for his second inning of work. He is going to face Galvis Casale in the pitcher's spot here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Galvis waiting for the first pitch, and he lines that one down the left field line. Ozuna chasing all the way to the wall. Galvis is going to have extra bases. He slides into second with a double. So leadoff double against Britton here in the bottom of the eighth inning. I think the real moral of this story is the Cub relievers can only really record three outs. You send them out there for that second inning of work and they just get tattooed. So Sammy T now comes out, runner on second, nobody out, Casale the batter, he is two for three today with an RBI. One ball count from Sammy T. Looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. Grounder up the middle. Sammy has it, throws to first, that is out number one. Nick Senzel will be the pinch hitter for the pitcher spot. He comes out with one out, one man on second, that's Galvis, and Sammy working with the first pitch. And that's a liner right at Kipnis at second base. That is going to be out number two. Galvis did not stray far off the bag, so he heads back to second. He is not doubled off, and Votto now batting with two outs, one man on. Full count pitch to Votto. Sammy T coming to the plate, and that is popped up to left. Ozuna chasing back to the warning track, makes the catch for out number three. Well, the Cubs come to the top of the ninth inning, and they are trailing the Reds 6-2. to two. And the Reds are going to bring in Nate Jones. He has thrown 21 and third innings so far this year. Eight walks, 23 strikeouts, and a 6.75 ERA. Jones will face Kipnis, the pitcher's spot, and Baez in the top of the ninth inning. Kipnis waiting for the first pitch from Jones. Here's the sign and the pitch. And Kipnis grounds weakly to third. The throw goes to first, and he is retired for out number one. Tauschman now stepping up from the left side. He's going to pinch it for the pitcher spot with one out, nobody on top of the ninth inning. Here comes the pitch, and Kip, or Tauschman grounds to short. The throw goes to first, and Tauschman is retired for out number two. So Baez now batting, two outs, nobody on. Cubs down to their final out. First pitch to Baez, and that's going to be popped up to right. It is going to be playable, and it is caught for out number three. Castellanos pulls it in, and that will be the ball game. The Reds get six runs on 11 hits. The Cubs get two runs on four hits, and the Reds are victorious for the second day in a row. Today it is 6-2. to two. The player of the game is the Reds starter, Michael Kopech. Six innings thrown, four hits, two runs, both earned, four walks, and eight strikeouts. He gets win number one on the season. Alec Mills gets hit with his first loss of the season. He drops to two and one. He threw five innings of seven hit, four run baseball with one walk and four strikeouts and a home run allowed. And for the Reds lineup, the damage was really done with the Freddie Galvis run scoring triple and then the Contreras run-scoring single, both in the fourth inning. That gave the Reds the lead that they did not relinquish. Well, the Cubs dropped to 38-42. and 42. They are now four games behind the division-leading Reds, who improved to 42-38. and 38. 
And that's it for today. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.